Welcome to the video from thislife.com. In this video, I'm going to show you just got Android 12 L on my uh, Surface Duo. It's available for Surface Duo 2 and the Surface Duo, the original one as well. So I just thought I'd show you some of the changes that I've spotted so far. I haven't seen a complete list from Microsoft yet. But overall, the UI's had quite a few changes. I'm trying to capture this on the Your Phone app as well so that I can show you what I mean. But the visual indication, the, the unlock screen, the pins has changed. I noticed if you hold the power button down, you get the new Android 12L menu where you can uh, power off, restart, that kind of thing. It's actually got rid of the smart home functionality that was, was there before. Um, if I scroll down, you can see the notifications have changed. Um, it's got a new look. And as you see the... Um, try and get that on there. As you can see, the notifications, the, uh, the quick actions come down. You see they've got a nice animation on there. And they may look familiar to you because they look very much like Windows 11. So I think Microsoft's done a quite a good job working with the changes on Android 12 to improve those uh, notifications and those shortcut buttons. So they look, like I said, like Action Center. And I've got some new one there, like uh, Wallet. I'm not sure that was there before. Oh, that's the ability to turn on and off. Uh, Google Wallet and it even shows a little thumbnail of your, of your card as well so that looks different now your know, background I've got on there is different it comes with this, some uh, new backgrounds now and uh, so that you've got the original surface ones and, and then these new ones which I really like actually they continue the theme but look a little bit more Windows 11 like so you can pick those but also there's now accent colours so you can choose the accent colours, see I changed that theme, it's pick, picked up on those accent colours, even I think the Spotify background changes, or you can choose a different set of accent colours based on that wallpaper theme, so you can pick those from there, so I quite like that, I think that's a, a nice, uh, gives it a nice refresh look as well, or you can go for solid accent colours yourself as well, and it still supports dark and light mode as it did before, so I think that looks nice. A few other things I've changed, I found as well, um, Settings looks different as well in general. Settings now looks um, a little a bit a little bit more Windows 11 like I say, but they've got the icons there. It's uh, everything's there in one place, and the actual settings of self. I've noticed there's things like on body detection um, now shows up on there. Now I think th these are all features that were in there before, it's just that they're more visible because it's where it's moved up to, or oh, add another Gmail account, that kind of thing. A couple of bits and pieces I found, if you go to the Wi-Fi button, not only do you get your Wi-Fi uh, listed on there, but you also go, it shows you your mobile signal, you can turn that on and off on there as well, so if you're using mobile data you can toggle that on and off, it. so it's all there in one panel. So you've got 4G, you've got 5G, no G, whatever it is, it'll show you on there. So, um, and you can go further into the settings. So I quite like that. Um, it's little things like that that I think have improved it. Some other um, things I've noticed on the UI is around the animations. So if I click on the Photos app, I've got it to automatically open in both in dual screen mode. If I close it, you notice it goes back to where it came from. Same if I open. Uh, the tips app, close it, it goes back to where it opened. It doesn't seem to do that when you open it on another screen, it just goes back to the middle like it used to do, but I quite, I quite like that idea of it sort of going back to where it came. And speaking of the tips app as well, that's been updated to show you some of the changes like the new wallpapers, and supposedly handing over from a PC to, to phone teams is easier. Uh, there's an uh, updated pen menu if you've got a pen with it. Um, you can choose your favourite apps from the pen, that kind of thing. So the notification shade as well, so that looks better now. Um, it's clearer, I think, than, uh, and it almost looks more Windows-like now, so I like that as well. Supposedly, the, the Chrome app allows you to run side-by-side side Windows, which you couldn't do before. So I can now have two independent uh, uh, Chrome apps. Uh, Chrome Windows on there, which I think was harder to do the old version. I'm not sure because I didn't, I don't use Chrome, which I pretty much prefer Edge. And uh, yeah, I like using Edge, it's much better for me. Another thing that's changed, I can't really show you because we've got decent lighting here, but the camera um, 
um, now it has in automatic night mode so that when you're in low light it automatically switches it into night mode as well which is, which is good. In terms of responsiveness it feels better because I think the animations are better. Uh, this, I've noticed as well there's animations on the app startup so you don't always see it because the apps, some apps are quick to start up but you do get some uh, animations as those uh, open up as well. Launcher and um, the Microsoft apps seem pretty much the same. I can't really see any major differences so far but like I said I do keep spotting little little things on there. Um, there may be some more features that uh, I've yet to see or more uh, UI changes. But overall it's a smooth experience. The update came in at 3.8 gigs so a big update um, but it works fine. It gives you a nice refresh UI and some new backdrops, better animations uh, more of a windows it looks so uh, overall nice update so that's, thanks for watching this video you can find more on this i'm at i dixon on twitter